Indian Air Force's Mi-24 attack helicopter made an emergency landing in Rajasthan due to a technical fault. Pakistan and China have successfully concluded the Indus Shield air exercise, simulating modern aerial combat scenarios using J-16 and J-10C fighter jets and KJ-500 airborne early warning system. The DRDO has started development of a new indigenous airborne radar liquid cooling system for Virupaksha radar of Super Shukhoi fighter jet. Out of the second order of 73,716 rifles for the Indian Army, Pune-based Mibay Industry will manufacture and assemble some of the 6716 rifles in India. Hyderabad-based Azad Engineering has signed $82.89 million long-term contract with Japan's Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, for the supply of rotating and stationary airfoils, used in advanced gas and thermal power turbine engines. Ordnance Factory Medoc has dispatched advanced quadrant fire control systems and optical quadrant to Israel, that are essential for artillery fire control, enabling accurate targeting by measuring the angle of inclination on various surfaces. The RDO's Technology Development Fund has issued a call to Indian industry, to develop a fiber brag grating based structural health monitoring system. The Indian Navy has unveiled its advanced autonomous underwater vehicle equipped with a novel sunflower propeller, that offers lower noise for stealth, better maneuverability and efficiency for reconnaissance and mine countermeasures. In a recent discussion, a senior Indian Air Force official has revealed that the Air Force would consider settling for 90 additional Rafale fighter jets under the MRFA tender. If another 90 units are ordered, it would complete the Air Force's desired Rafale fleet, effectively achieving the 126 aircraft composition that was initially envisioned. A deal for 90 additional Rafales would require a substantial investment but this option could benefit from previous experiences and established supply chains. Experts have said, amid the Indian Air Force's 24 fighter jets delivery per year requirement under the MRFA tender, the F-16 by Lockheed Martin and F-15EX by Boeing stand out as the aircraft with the highest production rates among the MRFA contenders, capable of producing 40 and 36 aircraft each year respectively. Boeing has the ability to produce up to 24 F-A-18 aircraft annually, Dassault Aviation's production rate is around 11 to 15 aircraft per year, Eurofighter production line delivered 20 to 25 aircraft annually, Saab maintains a production rate of approximately 16 to 20 Gripen annually, and Russia has a capacity of around 10 to 15 Su-35 aircraft per year. At a time when India and Indonesia are in advanced stages of concluding the sale of BrahMos supersonic cruise missile, the US has reportedly expressed concerns over the potential sale, adding layers of diplomatic and strategic calculations for India. India and Indonesia have held discussions on the possible sale of BrahMos for several years, and sources have said that diplomatic geopolitical and regulatory concerns have all contributed to the delay. The Directorate General of Armlia Defense has issued a request for information for the procurement of the anti-UAS high-power microwave Mark II system, that is designed to counter the growing threat of unmanned aerial systems, including low-radar cross-section drones and swarm configurations. The system is envisioned as a vehicle-based multifunctional platform capable of being deployed across various trains, and must integrate seamlessly with other in-service air defense systems. Today's top 3 comments, 